everybody, it's me Beth, and I wanted to do a silly video talking about what kind of ideas I'd like to see Nintendo tackle. Um, lately these are probably videos that have already been done, or whatnot, and they probably have already got plans and schemes and out it, but I kind of want to just be like, hey, this is what I kind of want to see future Nintendo games to take. And let's just start off with the one that's more likely, the Pokemon game. I kind of want a Pokemon game that's more mature. Not into the realm of like, Pokepop or Pokemon The Dark Knight Rises or, you know, I don't want something Rule 34 and I don't want something like gritty for the sake of gritty. Um, basically I just kind of want a, uh, a game that has a compelling story with compelling characters that doesn't treat its audience like they can't handle this. Um, that doesn't talk down, doesn't patronize, doesn't handhold. It's like, yes, this is a game. Yes, there is some difficulty. Yes, this is kind of what happens when you have your entire world based on fighting magical little creatures. When you have your magic rodents fight. But also kind of not like, it's darkness, it's gritty, it's Batman. It's kind of, I want less 90s Batman and more 60s Batman. Or... Forget that last line, I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, I just don't want darkness for the sake of darkness, angst for the sake of angst. I want it to be mature, but I don't want it to be like porn. Which admittedly, would probably get them a, a good chunk of change. But anyways, next thing, um, future video, they're not future videos, I'm reading my, I'm reading my notepad wrong. Uh, future Legend of Zelda. Um, basically a Legend of Zelda set far into the future instead of what they've kind of been doing in setting in a medieval past kind of thing. Um, mainly because I want to see them explore the whole, you know, cycle of, you know, Heroes chosen, gotta go fight Ganon, gotta go save the princess. I kind of still want to see that expanded and explored more. So, like, instead of Ganon's the bad guy, you immediately gotta go fight him because he's a bad guy. You know, have Ganon be your partner or friend or something, and it's like, yeah, he's intimidating, yeah, he's scary, yeah, he doesn't know he's darkness incarnate, but at the same time, depending on your relationship with the guy, you know, you can end up either having a buddy who is a serious tank, a nuisance that kind of shows up and is a pain in the ass to beat, or he's the powerful second to, second to end boss. You know, kind of give us that option to, like, depending on your actions, this is the consequence that you're going to get, which games have been exploring a lot. Like, your axes, your, your axes have consequences, and your actions do, too. But, something like that. Which, unlikely, maybe, but who knows. <laughs> um, next thing I'd like to see, and this one's kind of hard to explain, but essentially a Metroid game that kind of explores and flushes out more of Samus's personality. Because for me personally, I kind of like to see Samus as kind of like Nintendo's Deadpool, where like, or a character where she's like, yeah, she's serious when she needs to be, she's stern when she needs to be, but at the same time, she is kind of aware that she is a bit of a dork. Like, in traveling in space, she's got to be a little bit boring. She's probably, you know, I kind of want to see some fun flesh. I kind of want her to be a fun bounty hunter. You know, I don't want to have that standard, you know, darkness. I don't want Batman. <laughs> I want something a little, I don't want it. I don't want Batman, I want Deadpool. <laughs> I want somebody who has at least some fun and, you know, the interactions and playfulness. It's like, it would be kind of funny. It's like, Ridley, sh she's got to battle Ridley. It's like, Ridley, I thought you were a, you got into Smash. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, you oversized, flightless bird? Why? You know, kind of have that, almost Kid Icarus kind of style where it's like the two kind of, you know, have her almost break that fourth wall, but not quite break that fourth wall. Because, I mean, if Kid Icarus gets to do it, why not Samus? Because, I mean, they share the same enemies. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomato. 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 Tomato.
which is kind of what I would like to see. I would kind of like to see also um, for the Metroid games to expand more on the idea of the bounty hunting because at least through the games that I've seen, Samus isn't so much a bounty hunter going after the deals and whatnot and having to make money more as she puts up with the Federation because the Federation's like, hey, go get those Metroids for us. And she's like, okay, I guess. I don't know. Could be just me misinterpreting the entire game series and whatnot. Would not be the first time. <laughs> and I kind of want, you know, some more explanation. Like, explain to us why she has the suit and why it makes it special for her. And, you know, one way of putting it, it's like she was raised by the Chozo, Tro Chozo, Chorizo, the Boyds. She was raised by the Boyd people from space, the space boy people. She got her fancy tech suit that she can kind of use or whatever and magic and science and shenanigans. Federation finds out about that and is like, hey, Samus, we're really nice to you, come on. You know, once the chor chorizo people take you, I, we, the Federation, will raise you up and you'll be awesome. You'll be our little lapdog. What was that? Nothing. We will be your laptop. You will be our laptop, not the other way around. And we're going to be able to take some of your info on the suit. And she's like, no, screw you guys. I'm going to do my own thing. So on and so forth. And thus, she's an enemy of the Federation. Because they won't give her, she won't give them what they want. Which is the explanation why the tech suit works for her and nobody else. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Speaking of not telling me what I'm talking about, the final thing I'd like Nintendo to see is like I'd like to see them do an Ice Climbers remake or sequel series or whatever. Basically kind of give the Kid Icarus Uprising treatment to the Ice Climbers because you know what? They kind of deserve it. They were in Smash, they were man, you know, they were in, they were in Smash, they're all, their games their game's as old as Kid Icarus, they should have some fun, and you could really explore and have some fun with the two main characters being siblings, married couple, or whichever. <coughs> you know, do the whole fun. You know, they're siblings, they're married. I, I don't know what the canon thing is, but you could play with that. Here, canon, here you could have one game that's, the canon is that they're siblings. The other canon, the other game, that canon is they're married. And, or you could even do what they did with uh, Fire Emblem. It's like, depending on the supports, they could be married. Or they could just have that sibling, sibling zone. It's like, I love you like a sibling. But not, no romantic stuff. I'd also kind of like to see them kind of play with, um, tropes being used, like, Let's say the little pink one, Nana, has the giant hammer, and she smash. And Popo's in the back just being like, I heal you. I'm going to stay as far away as I can, but I'm going to still heal you because you're terrified. Okay, bye. And so on and so forth. I mean, I know that the game would have to go through some serious writing and trying to figure out, so figuring out how to get away with having the seals and eggplant eggplants and the polar bears as the enemies and best way to do that is say magic evil corrupty thing because as many an anime and many a manga and many a video game have shown if there is evil you just smash it you smash it out of somebody somebody is evil and possessed you smack it you smack the evil out of them results may vary <laughs> Uh, anyways, those are some of the ideas I have for future Nintendo games and things I'd like to see. Um, if you guys like, please leave your own thoughts and theories on what future games you guys would like to see, uh, what kind of aspects of some of the ideas that I have that you really enjoy, or what things you think I should change, um, if I should go and, like, do a pitch video of Hey, this is an Ice Climbers game I'd like you to make, Nintendo. Call me. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, 
other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye!